Do you believe you are the Messiah? Yes, I do. Of course I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be saying that I'm Jesus. And in the first century, I said I was the Messiah. It depends on what a person believes the Messiah to be. In the first century, when I was alive, a lot of people believed that the Messiah would be a king and a person who came to destroy the Roman Empire and who would come to, you know, release the Jews from the captivity of the Romans and would finish up in some kind of world dominating political power. That's what they believed the Messiah to be. I knew that that's not the, what the Messiah is. All the Messiah is, is a person who is the first person to develop a relationship with God the way God intended it to be. They're just the first person who did that. And they're the Messiah in the sense that they can then lead other people into doing the same thing. And that's all I chose to do in the first century. And that's all I've been doing for 2000 years. It is interesting today, people believe the Messiah will almost do the same thing as what people believed in the first century. They believe the Messiah would come, Jesus would come on a, on a throne uh, with all of his angels and destroy the wicked at, at an event called Armageddon and would establish a righteous government on earth well, as a world power. Now, the thing they've never questioned is, if I did not do that in the first century, why would I want to do that now? And I don't want to do that now. Being the Messiah is just about being the first person who's ever come into a relationship of atonement with God. That's all it was. And that's all it ever will be for me. It's about the fact that I was the very first person on this planet to get into that condition. I'm not the only person who's ever been in that condition. I'm only the first person who was in that condition. I am referred to as the Messiah because I've helped other people come to that same condition. But I don't believe that that makes me any better than them. All it, all it means is that I have a strong desire for God and a strong desire for truth and a strong desire to be humble in my relationship with God. And that enabled me to learn things that other people did not learn because they did not have those same desires. So that's how I feel I am the Messiah. But I do not believe and I will not ever accept that I need to be worshipped, that I need to be the king of anything, that I need. And in fact, I believe quite strongly that my God is my king and my God, my creator, is the person if I'm going to worship, that would be the person I would worship. And in fact, I recommend to people to not have anything more to do with worshipping me, because if they do, they'll be severely disappointed. <laughs>